you don't have a knesset. Why? Because it's a theological price to pay you don't want to pay. But isn't there a price to pay for not having a knesset? I mean, I live in Palestine slash Israel, okay? There's fights all the time, non-stop. A lot of Israeli things. Not all, but... Israeli what? A lot is the fault of the Jews. They don't, you know, this occupation, that's a big problem. Okay. Bad. Um, but when, when we come and think, that idea of not willing to be ignored, I know exactly what God wants. This book represents God. It's, it's equal to God. It even existed before God. And I know it's not unique to Islam. I was talking to Christian again. It's not unique to Judaism. What? It's, it's part of Judaism. It's the same. part of Judaism as well. It's the same problem. So but, why is that a well, problem? Pardon? Why is it wrong? Because it brings wars in the world. Okay, so what? But that's, a, that's a fallacious argument. Is yeah. it? Yes, because... Does God want that? What, let, if God let, likes it? what if God is okay, bigger than all the okay. religions? And all the... He's and everything. Okay, okay. He wants the 8 billion okay. people to get along. What you just, I know it sounds yeah. universal kumbaya, but maybe, yeah. maybe God's bigger than that. He doesn't want let it. Me, let me explain but, something. Okay. First of all, it's a logical fallacy. Unless you believe in the truthfulness of consequentialism and a very specific type of consequentialism, yes? To say that just because of the consequences of something, it's false. So if I say, look, it's, it's, for me, the consequence of Galileo telling me that the Earth is that the uh, it's the um, Earth that goes around the Sun and not vice versa, was that he was put in prison. So it had negative consequences, but that doesn't a scientist would maintain it doesn't uh, stop it from being the case that the Sun goes around the Earth. Oh, sorry, no, the I Earth goes around the Sun. The, the point is, is that to, to to cite a consequence as a reason why something is false is, is a fallacious type of reasoning, unless one says that consequentialism is true, and then they have to prove that's, that's the case. No. Number one. But, but tell you, I, I understand. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. The point is like Why we want to figure out what God wants, what Allah wants? Why would He want that? Why would He want us to be fighting all the time to, to dominate our religion about the whole? World? No, but it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm saying the consequence means that maybe He thinks. Well, Maybe he doesn't want to be fixed in that kind of box, right? Uh, I mean, yeah. he creates all these different religions. I assume you were born a Sunni Muslim? Yeah, were you well, born a Sunni Muslim? we believe all of them are Sunni Muslim, yeah. I mean, yeah, I was in a Sunni household, yeah. Yeah, okay, so okay. the reason I practice also Judaism, a big part, if I really, really ask myself, is because I was born in Orthodox. Fine. Okay, so God puts us in different places. Most of us follow where we are. Sometimes we have some kind of that. And, and that's where we stay. So if he does that, maybe that's what he wants. Maybe he wants many paths to him. He gives us a hint by doing where we were born to instead of checking out the other 4,200 religions. So, so when the Nazis in Germany were born into a Nazi environment, were they then, uh, were, were, yeah, yeah. Were, 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 they, were they then justified for being Nazis because they weren't critical thinkers to the extent to which they say this is nonsense? No, okay, but that, that's the thing with equivalent. Me acting immorally and killing innocent people no, but we're, we're, the equivalent. Yeah, yeah. They had their own systems of morality, which we would say is uh, defunct, but they had their own systems of morality. But this idea that we're living now in a world which is completely globalized, yeah, and where I can see the arguments in a place like this of the other person. Yes. Yeah, so if you, were, if you were born, I would agree, or maybe you would agree, sorry. Yes. If you were born in a Nazi household, and as someone like me, or someone like you now, came and, uh, did, you know, debunked Nazism, yeah? From a, from a, a, theo, uh, from a political, philosophical perspective. Yeah. Would, it, would it still be legitimate for that person to maintain their Nazism, despite the fact that it's been debunked intellectually? Well, what do you mean Nazism? Do you mean catching Jews on the street and beating them up to death, or no? No, how about anti-Semitic sentiments without, right. without violence? Well, I, I don't think racism is good. Hey, look, I can tell you for myself, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be a Nazi. I, I'm How do asking, I know? I'm asking, I was born an Israeli Jew. I know Everyone that. writes me a right I'm, I'm, and I'm pro-Palestinian. I understand. So I know that I don't follow just I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm talking about practice. No, but, practice. no, 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 please. Let me, okay. let me come back to this. Okay. You, you are saying that if someone is born in a certain way, I'm yeah. saying if someone is born in a household of anti-Semitism where they are taught that he, uh, Jews were subhuman, okay, and then they are confronted with facts and evidence, as I'm sure me and you would show them, yeah, okay. that that's wrong. Yeah. Are they still justified in believing whatever they're justified, or is the truth so clear now that them believing this thing is morally repugnant? But, but this, that's racism. Racism is wrong for itself, regardless of. I'm not talking about. I. I no, no. But why have you? Uh, sorry. I, I said about sorry. practicing. No, no, no. I talked about practicing. But Jesse, I don't think Jesse, Jesse. I'm born a racist, said, I should stay no, listen. Excuse me. You said that's racism. Uh, my racist. my point to you is that monotheism is even more clear than racism as being morally okay. Okay. You see, you said that's racism, yeah? As if it, is, it should be known to all that racism is wrong, okay? I'm saying to you that someone can be socialized so deeply into a racist environment that actually they genuinely believe that racism is true, okay? I'm saying that if me and you were to argue against the racists and give them rational, scientific, 
a sociological, anthropological, or whatever type of arguments to show them why their racism makes no sense. And they continue believing in anti-Semitism. They're still believing that Jews are subhuman or something like that. Okay. Would you agree that they have no right to believe or that they are morally uh, unjust, uh, unjustified in, in, in maintaining their stance? I think they're wrong. Great. Okay, Beautiful. Anyway, Islamophobic is the same. Uh, no, no, but I'm just focusing okay. on anti-Semitism. Okay. Fine. So let's say you say that you think they're wrong. Yes. I'm saying to you is the same exact line of reasoning is applicable to the religious discourse. I would say that if somebody who is a polytheist, an agnost, an uh, atheist okay. or a pantheist or whatever other is, yes. after I have shown them or anyone has shown them the truth through evidence and argumentation and through scripture, yeah, after I've shown them the truth, that I would say they're wrong in the same way that you were so confident to say that the racist is wrong. I'm saying to you, in fact, I'll tell you something more deep. All of the neuroscientific information, the cognitive science evidence that we have indicates like I've mentioned many times before, you know, the Justin Barrett thing, 2011 study and so on, Anthropological Society. Yes, uh, yes, sir. It indicates that you're born believing in God. I don't think there's any evidence to show that you are born be being uh, non-racist. I don't know if there is or there isn't. What I'm saying is, if you, you already have an impetus, yes, a psychological impetus to be monotheistic or to believing in higher power. Believe not, in God, not believe in fine, fine, fine. I accept, I accept, I accept. But you have an impetus to believe in a higher power. Okay. Which is why Pew Research has shown that 90% of the population in America believe in a higher power despite the fact that some of them are not religious. Yeah, 90%. So that's great. Great, no, great. No, I'm, happy enough, no, I'm, not I'm saying that they are... No, no. I'm saying they have an impetus to believing in something, yeah, which is a higher power. Okay. So when I then reintroduce this idea of monotheism or higher power through a religious discourse, then there is more of a natural proclivity or incentive or an impetus, or to put it in Barrett's terms, an innate receptivity to accept such proposition. What I'm saying is racism doesn't fall the same. It has a lower epistemological and ontological bar, which means that if someone's, a, someone's born in a racist environment and you give them all the evidence of why racism is wrong, you let them sit with all the people of all different races and they, oh look, they're fighting each other. Let them fight, let them fight. All right, let's go back. The fight, the fight, the fight is over before it begins. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Let's go back. No, it's fine. Okay. No, it's fine. So, do you understand what I'm saying, brother? <laughs> now, do you see what I'm saying, brother? Your, so your perennial stance or your universalist stance, yeah, I think it's, in, in, it's not consistent. It's inconsistent. No, I don't think it's inconsistent. Because first of all, all those people live in higher power. It's great. They have a higher power. They're trying to live more alive. I think that's great. For me, that's great. I don't want anything more. From you. you do. You need them all to be Muslims too. I don't get, need them to be Muslims. Well, to get heaven, to... I don't no, know. I don't need them to be anything. Well, but they should be. No, it's look, what I'm saying to you is that if they are Muslims, that's for their own. The Quran says that someone who is a Muslim, yeah. you know, yeah, the Quran says, um, in ahsantum fa ahsantum li anfusikum. You know, if you're good, you're good for yourself. And if you're bad, you're, you're bad for yourself.